All right, one more cylinder entry to do tonight before we see. Wait for like a week. Which would be Good Friday. Good Friday will be fun. All right, so Donna Bronze by uh, R. Whaling. Okay. So Donna Bronze is an open world rulic about hunting, gathering, and stealth. Set in elite, late Neolithic, use your skills to tune to your surroundings, explore the huge open world, and become Prehistory's greatest hunter. So, Unreal World, so to speak. Alright, run game. Welcome to the world of Dawn of Bronze. Move with the ASW um, keys, or QEZC, and use the number keys, 1 to 3 for skills. Use S and W and return to navigate, menu, um, navigate menus. Okay, press zero for more detailed help at any time. Health, try not to starve. Catch enemies and trade them in town or camp for more food. Use A, S, D, W to move or, you know, Q, E, Z, Z, C to move diagonally. So, basically it's like, you know, your, key, um, your keyboard is basically numpad, which is annoying, but oh well. Um, you have skills that help you, um, help you, but they all consume more food. One listens to your surroundings and locate nearby creatures. Two hides you so the great prey doesn't um, detect you. Three scouts the surrounding area and may reveal a nearby campsite. The house of the town, your home base. NPCs there offer different quests and upgrades. Quests offer you upgrades in exchange for particular prey. Scout offers you upgrades if you find a particular distant campsite. Trade offers you upgrades for free after exchanging enough loot. If you die, you can cheat to continue or turn on debug mode below. Okay. Well, let's just see how this basically works. So, here's my status. Vision. You can see creatures up to 5 squares away. Listen. You can hear creatures up to 8 squares away. Cost 1 food. Hide. Most creatures cannot see you while hidden. Scout. You can explore the area and reveal nearby camps. Alright. So there's that, there's my inventory. So I don't have any um, equipment, so that's a thing, but whatever. Uh, it looks like basically you can see down here you got turn three, HP one of one, food 25 of 25. So first thing first, let's just like, you know, maybe scout around. So, okay, I scout around. You scout the surrounding forest, press any key when done. So there's basically nothing around me. Let's do, um, let's do like a little bit of like a listener hide, I guess. Okay, you listen carefully to your surroundings. Basically, I found a squirrel. Okay, let's just hide. You hide amongst the tall grasses, negative two food. You are no longer tuned to your surroundings. You're no longer hidden. You caught a squirrel. Okay, so I caught a squirrel, but I'm you know a little bit hungry now. Uh, X basically makes you wait wait a turn. By the way, so yeah, there's it's probably if you have like a WSD setup because like you know it's not really perfect on on a keyboard, but whatever. You're very hungry. Find uh, uh, food sooner, you will starve. So this is your people's summit. Nestled in the middle um, at the forest edge, a few dozen people are going about their ordinary routes, but a handful has special um, special seamers for, for you. First, the trader will exchange loot and pelts for food, earning you satchel upgrades. The local um, animus offer, offers this quest to challenge and expand your abilities as a hunter. Finally, the scout can point you toward your hunting camps and reward you with skill upgrades. So let's trade. Uh, here you can trade with the various element pelts you've, you've collected in exchange for food. Each one of you of you exchange will count toward upgrades, blah blah. So I can trade plus two food. Upgrade food satchel upgrades, more thirty five, trade fifteen for more food. So I only had like one thing, right? So we didn't get much food out of that apparently. So I'm probably gonna starve in a moment. There's a deer and a quail. And yeah, I'm having issues like, you know, 
catching it because, like, you know, I'm basically X by the way, which is basically your wait button. So, if you're going to have a wait button, basically make it, like, you know, it's the S key for, like, you're going for, like, this sort of um, setup here, but whatever. But, oh, well. Let's hide. And we're going to squirrel. We'll trail a bit. Let's trade for food. So we can trade nine more food, apparently, to get an upgrade of something, but whatever. So, quest. Your local MS is, is your people's advisor on many matters, both spiritual and practical. As a hunter, your prickly value the depth of her connection with nature and her knowledge of the land around you. She asks you to first bring two rabbits, which will develop your ability to um, move quickly while hidden. Okay. So, quest, scout. The scout is your people's most senior hunter and woodsman, a living encyclopedia of rocks, streams, trees, and hills of regions surrounding your village. Under his two legs, you can learn how to survive efficiently in the surrounding wilderness. He tells you of a clearing in the woods just north of here. Search it out by scouting the nearby area until you find it, and you'll improve your efficiency of your abilities. Okay, so... Yeah, final location, blah, blah. Well, I kind of scroll without even trying, but okay. And yeah, I'll note that stuff has a chance to basically see you when you're like, you know, walk around like this, so whatever. Some skittish deer. Found our quail. And I'm going to starve. You know, I think I'm going to restart here, but whatever. I have a sort of basics down, basically how this like sort of works and controls. So, trade. Basically, if I trade more food, I'm going to, like, you know... Upgrade my food satchel. Quest. She asks you to first bring two rabbits. The scout is telling me to go northeast of here to find something. So, northeast. Oh, let's catch a squirrel, because why not? If I catch a deer, that'd be awesome. Oh, look at that. I actually caught a deer. What's a grouse? A boar. Caught the boar. Ooh. Game over. You have died. So, um, that's worth knowing. Apparently the boar will actually kill you. Well, good to know. I guess that means how do you basically, like, you know, avoid, like, you know, dying to boars? If, like, you know, they're angered at you, but whatever. So, blah, blah. He wants to go southwest. A clearing the woods. Alright. So, no power these are different biomes, and they all have, like, different stuff in them. Quail. Hmm. There's a rabbit. Oh, uh, apparently when like you know see me, they're they're still gonna like you know run away. So that's worth knowing.
catch a squirrel. Let's try scouting here. This is southwest, but I don't see anything in this area. This sheltered forest contains quail, squirrel, rabbits, and a few skittish deer. So basically that's what we basically find here. See, so yeah, if you're basically like running into a wall, I guess they can't like, you know, escape you, so. We caught a deer. Oh, here's my inventory. We got quail, squirrel, and deer in here. Or deer. I wonder if like, we're able to, like, to you know, stock deer or something, because, like, you know, it says I have them, but it doesn't actually say, like, anything, like, about, like, like a number of them, so. Uh, quail. Okay, let's trade. So, I got enough for 20 food. You want me to bring in rabbits? I haven't got rabbits. Southwest of here. Yeah, I hate these controls, but, you know, I can't really do anything about that. It's not really the, well, I won't say they, like, they fail for de the developer, because maybe that's, like, how they prefer to play it, but whatever. All right, let's go scout. Yeah, I don't see me seeing anything around here, so. You see a sign to the east of good campsite. Okay, to the east is a good campsite. Interesting. So somewhere out here. Here's some food. Boop. The trader tops you up with a token of gratitude. So basically now I have free five food. There's a question. Did I bet I'm not gonna get that like you know um that food there or is it like a fact like, you know, instead of like, you know, just getting it topped up, I just like, you know, um, just got extra food on top of it. That may have been a bad, like, you know, thing to do. It may have been better just to like use up my food and come back at like trading in after that. We'll see. We should have bow and arrow of some sort or something like that, but whatever. Let's come down here and scout. So, boop. Uh, you see the signs to the west of the good campsite. West again. You find a campsite close by. There we go. Camp. This is a good hunting camp. Shelter from the surrounding forest. You can field dress your loot here in exchange for meat. If you wish... It will not count towards upgrades in town. You have reached the location you were searching for. Return to the scout in town for rewards. So rest. So I can basically rest here if I want. No problem. I only got one HP by the way. So um, that's worth knowing. But whatever. Okay, he saw me unfortunately. But oh well. I find, find it very easy for these guys to sort of see me every so often, but whatever. I didn't find anything here, by the way, so... Scout. So turn in, turn in ready. You're more efficient at scouting and will consume seemingly less time and food when doing so. Okay, so now when I basically scout, what, what happens? So I take less? Scout. Yeah, it only takes me two food, so okay.
There's a squirrel. I need to build my food now, so. There's a rabbit. I got myself a rabbit. One moment, I just have to pause the recording here for a moment. Alright, where was I? I'm only 15 minutes basically in. I've got nine food left. I do have an inventory where I caught a rabbit. And yeah, I really wish, like, you know, the numpads basically worked, but oh well. Uh, there's that campsite down there. Squirrel sees me. There, caught a quail. I like how the camp basically sort of shows up in the Mexican Mexican window area, I guess, but whatever. Let's trade, get some food. I don't have two rabbits apparently, so oh well. Alright, so further to the northeast is a grasslands is another good site for a camp, which will improve your access to the rich game nearby. Scouting without the shelter of this forest presents challenges, but if you succeed, your self skills will be greatly enhanced. So, basically, it's teaching me, like, you know, where to basically go. I haven't found a location yet, so whatever. There's another rabbit. Rabbits seem to be pretty skittish, by the way, so they seem to be a lot more added up to basically finding me. Okay, you got the rabbit. Oh, I can't move into this, like, you know, water area, I guess, so I assume that's like the ocean. Get that squirrel. I don't like the fact that rabbit can disappear right in front of you. If um, if you have it cornered, it really shouldn't be able to run away. So, that's something I would improve basically, but whatever. Let's go to um, the quests. You can move faster while remaining hidden and will consume less food. So, status. Hiding now costs only one food, and more, most creatures kind of seem well hidden. So, basically, uh, like, you know, I was basically like, doing it to like, you know, quest based and getting better at like, hiding and listening and stuff like that, I guess. So. Next, use all your skills of stealth to bring two deer from the nearby woods. Show that you have mastered your spear and prove your readiness to the art of archery. So apparently, eventually we get like range stuff as we go along here. So, okay. I don't have two deer. So trade. There's some food. I'm guessing you get different food amounts basically for the stuff you find, by the way. So that's a thing. I'm going to hold off and like turn it in that satchel, by the way, so basically you can see if I can like get more food. If like, you know... Of course, saw me, so whatever. Get that quail. Get the squirrel. There's a deer. It's hide. Got the deer. Got the squirrel too. Okay. 
Got that squirrel. That quail. Tide. Okay, I picked up quite a few guys here. Let's just head, head off. Oop. Oh, I saw me this guy. And we got that deer. Okay, quests. Turn in two deer. You receive a bow. Use R to aim and F to fire. Okay, so, um, R. You shoot a quail but missed. That might be because I'm too far away. Oh, look at that. I have an arrow so it counts. I have to be careful, you know, firing it like so far away stuff. Let's trade. Um, I don't need to trade that food in just yet. Scout. Further to the northeast in the gra grasslands, apparently. So. Let's scout right here. You scout the strong forest using two foods. So basically tells me what's nearby. Blah, blah. Um, the austere steps are home to grouse, fox, and hares. So in this area, basically we're getting closer to grouse, foxes, and hares, apparently. All right. The hair. So note that that's basically in like that sort of brush area and it can see me, but whatever. Let's look around here. The northwest of a group campsite. So just around there is like a, you know, a campsite. Okay. Okay, let's trade in for the um, satchel. And yeah, note that basically I get full like you know food there. So basically, like you know, I trade of him. I haven't even traded my food yet, but basically, I'm getting the satchel. So now she asks you to demonstrate your aptitude with a bow and retrieve three boar pelts from your grasslands in the northeast. Beware of boar, dangerous, and may charge you if cornered. So basically, boar will charge you. That makes sense. Okay, so I know where to go. So there's a hair. The signs in North is a good campsite, so we're getting close to this campsite, but it's a little bit north of me. The sign that itself is a good campsite. And there we go, we found it. You find a campsite close by. This is a good hunting camp, a shelter in the surrounding steps. You can find field dress your loot here in exchange for meat, if you wish. It will not count towards the upgrades in town. This is a good spot, but not the one you're looking for. Based on the discussed directions, you should check in the grasslands to the east. So basically, this is where I can basically go. But it's not the one I basically want. Okay, well it's good to you know basically find it. I spot a fox. That squirrel. A uh, grouse. A uh, quail. All right, so the austere steps are home to grouse, foxes, and hares. There's a hare. I'll go after boar soon, but I just want to basically try and find this, like, you know, campsite, so. Uh, 
Not yet. Let's get you. The southeast. So we're getting close. The northwest. And there it is. This is a good spot, but not the one you're looking for. Based on this guy's directions, you should check to the grass and the north, because why not? There's multiple, as I said. Blah, blah. Ooh, it's a boar. Tide. Aim and fire. I shot the board and missed. Shot to where I missed. But missed. So it saw me and fleed. Makes sense. So, there's uh, scouts running step. There's grass, foxes, and hares here. Blah, blah. So, these fruit, fruit, fruitful glasslands are brewing with grouse, partridges, and hare, as well as dangerous wild boar. You see the signs the Northwest is a good campsite. So, Northwest is a, is a good campsite. They caught a hare, apparently. Boar sees me and flees, apparently. Oh, there it is. You've reached the location you were searching for. Return to the scout in town for reward. Okay, so we found where I need to go. Glad the warrant charged me. Now that's close enough basically hit. Let's see. R and fire. He shot a grouse. I guess we automatically get the grouse when we like, you know, shoot it. That squirrel. Okay, so I can trade for a whole lot of food. Back. So we got quests. I have uh, free boars. Scout. Turn in. So, you are more stealthy and listening to your sounds will consume less food. So basically now I don't think I can actually, like, you know, consume food when I basically, like, you know, listen. So. Yeah, hiding, hiding basically cost me, like, like, um, well, listening basically cost me only zero food. Hiding cost me one food. So, hooray! I'm getting better. Wow, I got full arrows again. Let's trade this in. Now I can get 100 max food if I want to. Awesome. The essential steps to the east are a rich game, but dangerous as well. Finding a stool little shelter spot will hone your vision and provide you access to many surrounding, surrounding areas. So, essential steps to the east. Let's make sure. I haven't found that location yet, that's fine. Let's go find some boar. So, the austere steps here are home to grouse, foxes, and hares. That's not what I want for boars, so I have to go somewhere else. Boop, got a fox. Boop, got a quail. Boop, got a quail. Just getting lucky and it's walking on me you now. 
The sign says south is a good campsite. Okay, so there's a campsite to south of us here. Why not? We found our campsite. So this is a good spot, but not the one you're looking for. Based on this guy's directions, you need to check to the step to the east. So keep going east. Yeah, I'm just looking around for campsites, because why not? So, um, these two steps are home to Gross, but plus the signs of southeast is a campsite, so let's go southeast then. Hey, campsite. You've released location uh, uh, basically looking for, awesome. I got the food to go hunt a boar, so let's go hunt a boar. I assume they're up here. Yep, look at that, I see a boar. Hide. And we'll fire at it. Oh, it killed me. You attacked the boar with a for 1 HP damage, so I didn't kill it, but you know, it basically attacked me back. So, well, I think that's basically enough basically to show off what this game's all about, basically, so. I kind of think you should probably have a little more HP for like the boar attacks, but you know, other than that, it worked pretty well. Basically, it's like you do quest basically trying to like advance yourself as a hunter and get stronger and stronger, so I like it. It's got like, you know, here's the thing. It's got some direction to it, which is like really good for like this type of game. You can do your own thing if you want to, but you know, doing like the sort of direction stuff basically helps you a lot more, so it's good. Alright, so, hope you guys basically enjoyed that, and take care.